Hey guys, it's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be taking a look at the Raspberry Pi Zero dongle case. So let's get started. Now I've actually created one of these things back in 2016 before these cases was even available where I actually soldered the connection in and put a USB dongle. Actually, I found my original um, dongle. This is how mines look where I just 3D printed a case on top and soldered some wires underneath and made a USB connection. So it looks very, very similar, a little bit smaller than theirs, but it looks very, very similar to the one that you can get. Now, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below to this company, which I don't recommend purchasing from, uh, and also the official company where you could actually buy a USB dongle from, which is uh, 52 Pi. Now, funny to say, this company is uh, I an inker um it's actually mentioned on the top over here i inker or something like that i don't know if you'd see that uh this company actually sent me i don't know if it's the wrong product or they this is how it comes uh but they sent me two bottom shields and no middle shield basically so if you look at the instruction booklet it even says pi 52 for the instructions and if you look at the actual um acrylic that they go onto these raspberry pi zero dongles uh, the middle one should have three holes for the LEDs to slide through and it's about six millimeters or five millimeters thick while the bottom one is about like a two to three millimeters thick acrylic. So it basically gave me two bottom shields and I try to slap it together. It doesn't look great. It's got gaps all over the place because they never had to drill out for the LEDs. But ultimately it works. The, the shield itself works. You pop it into place and you could plug this into the computer. Now what these really are used for is so you can actually plug this into your computer and you could convert Raspberry Pi Zeros to either USB gadget devices, USB network devices. Um, there's a bunch of things that you could convert the Raspberry Pi Zero to and a lot of projects could stem from this. You could turn it into a macro keyboard or stuff like that. My personal use for this will be converting my setup that I have for the Pi KVM Zero, which is something I use a lot of. This has the HDMI bridge and also the, another Raspberry Pi Zero. I, I wanna use this case so I could actually just directly plug this into the computer hook up a HDMI cable, and then basically have a even more portable uh, Pi KVM Zero. Now, good news, Pi KVM is now gonna be officially supported by PiShop.us, so you could actually purchase their product soon. I'll leave a link down in the description below if it's available or not, but I know they're in the talks of it, and you're gonna be able to purchase their full Raspberry Pi 4 kit and everything that goes along with it from PiShop.us. So that's, that's great news. It's something that they've been trying to work on. Now getting this guy to work on a Windows machine, like having a little small footprint uh, Linux computer uh, operate as a dongle on Windows machine is a little bit more difficult than it used to be. Uh, as of 1903 update on Windows, which is a couple of years ago now, um, they actually have issues with this where when you plug it in, it doesn't detect it as a RDNIS device, or RNDIS, RDNIS, yeah, device, but also it comes up as a COM5 or COM device or serial device. And I'll leave a link down in the description below to a post on how you can resolve that. It's basically downloading some drivers and then you have to update the COM device drivers with the drivers that you downloaded and it'll actually convert this back to RDNIS device. From there, you can connect to it using Raspberry Pi.local like I used to do on my 2016 video with this guy. And also you can share your internet. Now sharing internet from your desktop PC to the Raspberry Pi is a little bit more difficult. One thing that they don't really talk about is that the MAC address changes every time you plug this guy in. So when you share your internet the first time, it'll work. Once you unplug it and plug it back in, you will have to redo the sharing again just to initialize. Unless you modify the config files to have a static IP every time you plug in the, um, the Raspberry Pi, which I will also leave a link down in the description below to that post that you could do as well. It's a little bit more difficult. You have to modify a config file and add the stuff that you want and a custom MAC address so it won't conflict with any other MAC addresses that you will have plugged into the computer. Otherwise, 
Uh, it works pretty well. This company that sells it, like I said, doesn't have the proper case for it. So it's a kind of a bummer. It looks really well with the blue LED when you stick it into a laptop or a desktop. It just works really well. But yeah, I would recommend buying this from 52Pi because they have the official case. And like I said, the instruction that came from iInker also shows Pi52 device in there or 52Pi's website from there. So I thought it was kind of funny when I saw it. Now, as far as customization process, I will be taking the HDMI CSI bridge and kind of like printing another 3D print where I could just kind of screw this thing on top without having an issue. And then this will officially be my Pi KVM um, Zero device. And it'll look something similar to this where I just have the device on here. It gives me enough room to plug in the HDMI and access the SD card if I need to. But I just have to figure out how I wanna do with the ribbon cable because I haven't figured that part out yet since the USB actually comes from the ribbon cable side. That is it for me. Uh, I've been trying to introduce a lot more Raspberry Pi Zero content into this channel recently. So you've probably seen the Pi KVM that I've hosted before, but I'm also working on turning this into a full desktop computer. It's been rather challenging, not even kidding. Uh, I plugged this into a USB hub. I, I stacked it up with that, plugged it into SSD. I'm modifying a lot of the stuff to reduce the boot time and operation times. So I am working on it. Um, I don't know how dedicated I am on building this. It does work, but ultimately you are dealing with a single core CPU at one gigahertz where running this as a desktop is not ideal. But anyway, if you guys are interested in seeing that video, I could post something up because I'm halfway through it. I, I was managing to get the SSD working and some boot up times working, but I didn't optimize the operating system or anything to make it m run more efficiently once you got it boot up. Well, that is it for me, guys. If you guys have any questions about the Raspberry Pi Zero dongle, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.